Thursday. The light is kind of blinding right here. I didn't make a video last week, basically just because I forgot and I just, it just completely slipped my mind. And TJ didn't make a video last week or this week and Holly didn't make one this week. So basically everybody needs to get punished except for like Maribel and Sarah. I am declaring no one's getting punished and next week we can just start fresh, new, all over again. Although TJ, if you still want to twerk, that's fine with me. Anyway, last week the theme was what we wanted to be when we grew up versus what we want to be now, if that makes sense. And I kind of wanted to talk about that, which made me really upset that I forgot my video. So I'm going to talk about that now. When I was growing up, ever since I was in probably like first or second grade, I wanted to be an author and I wanted to write books. And that pretty much continued through probably through sixth grade actually. And then after sixth grade, I decided I didn't necessarily want to be an author. I maybe wanted to be a screenwriter and write like scripts for movies or TV shows. I still kind of want to write for TV shows because I think that would be really fun. And then kind of end of middle school, early high schoolish, I wanted to be like an editor or a publisher and work with books. Hi, I'm using your room. <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> I know it's not awkward, but it still kind of is awkward. That makes sense. Anyway, so then I wanted to be an editor or a publisher. Then more end of high school, I was like, no, I think I definitely want to write books. So after wanting to write my whole life now, I'm an artist. I am going to minor in creative writing, so that's still kind of the same. Dream career would be performing, like singing um, or dancing, which I did both for a really, really long time, but that's not going to happen, so pipe dream. Sarah, I didn't get to watch your video yet, so I'm not sure who you mentioned for music. As Sarah said, the theme this week is music recommendations. Okay, music. I have a lot of music that I like. I tend to like music I can dance around to and really jam to and that pumps me up and stuff like that and I also like to listen to softer music that is kind of like more calm and that I can sing along to because I love to sing um, and stuff like that. A lot of my like pop music I guess is like One Direction, uh, Carmen, Lady Gaga, like people you hear um, on the radio and stuff like that, I guess, more. I just made a list of music that I like. I'm going to make a list for you. Or just basically go down the list because I could talk forever about pretty much all of these artists, so I don't want to, like, take a million hours of doing that. Ed Sheeran, love him. Love him, love him. Oh my gosh. His album Plus is so good. Um, it's one of my favorite albums because there's not a song on it that I don't like. It's awesome. A plus. Ellie Goulding, I really like her a lot. Her album Lights is really, really good. Marina and the Diamonds, love her. She's like so cute and I love singing along to her. Charlene Kay, she has a show in Virginia in August that I'm hopefully gonna be able to go to. Ingrid Michaelson, I could listen to her sing all day. Her new album, um, Human Again, is amazing and I've listened to it like a lot. Regina Spector, She's, mm, she's everything. I love her so much. Jem, I was introduced to Jem actually by one of my old dance teachers and we would warm up to her a lot and yeah, awesome. The Civil Wars, I really like. Jill Barber, I really like. Katie Tunstall, Mumford and Sons, uh, Sia, Imogene Heap, uh, Fiona Apple, I love Fiona. Uh, Jason Raz, I know TJ loves him. I really like his new album. Austin introduced me to Foxes the other day, and I really, really like her. Florence and the Machine. If you haven't heard Florence and the Machine, um, what are you doing with your life? Because she's perfect. The Whitlams, the Weepies, Grace Potter, she's so cute. Maroon 5, I really, really like. Both of their albums are awesome. And Austin has been warming me up to Tori Amos and Lana Del Rey. I just haven't listened to them a lot, and their voices are very distinctive. Not like, I mean, I don't know. I'm not explaining myself well, but yeah. I really like to listen to instrumental music when I'm um, writing or making art or 
doing like productive things, so I'm not focusing on lyrics. So I really like the Vitamin String Quartet for that. The Piano Guys have some really awesome tracks. Um, two cellos, obviously, super good. I also like to listen to some movie soundtracks, and that always makes like what you're doing seem super epic, so that's awesome as well. I also like to listen to Broadway soundtracks and things like musicals and stuff like that. And I also really really love acapella arrangements of popular songs. I listen to the Boca albums a lot, the Best of College acapella, because there are some really really good arrangements on those records. I kind of sped through and I know, I know I forgot like a ton of people that I listen to all the time, but I don't want this video to be like 12 minutes long. Maribel, I'll see you tomorrow. Wow, you missed one week and all of a sudden you're stuttering over your words and you don't know what's happening. <sighs>